welcome back students today we have a new topic of discussion so we are going to discuss oscar wilde today uh, first of all i am going to discuss a brief introduction and background of oscar wilde and his uh, writing career and then definitely we are going to discuss his masterpiece the importance of being earnest so let's start our discussion here is uh, a list of contents i have just planned to discuss under this topic of oscar wilde first of all part 1 in part 1 we are going to cover the biographical information and then life and works of oscar wilde uh in the second half of this video i'm going to discuss the play the importance of being earnest uh, introduction of the play Uh, summary themes important debates and quotations with you and uh, thirdly i have also a plan to discuss with you uh, the only novel of uh, oscar wilde the picture of dorian gray uh, but i think uh, i can only cover two things today uh, the picture of dorian gray will be the part of our next video so let's come to oscar wilde First of all we have the biographical information and uh the information about the writer's career well uh as we all know that Oscar Wilde is one of the towering literary figures belong to the domain of art for art's sake his complete name is Oscar Fingal O Flaherty Wells Wilde He was born of a professional and literary family and uh, his father was also uh, a writer and he published a lot of books on archaeology and his mother was also a literary woman so he uh, had somehow the background of a literary family uh, he is a representative dynamic name of modern irish drama rather he had introduced a new domain in the modern comedy particularly in terms of drama well oscar wilde's time period is from 1854 to 1900 and he was an irish poet and dramatist basically but he had won popularity from his only novel the picture of dorian gray that was published in 1891 so with the publication of The picture of Dorian Gray, eighteen ninety one. Ah, Oscar Wilde had got a recognition as a novelist as well, but this was the only novel he published throughout his life. Well. Yeah. we were discussing uh, the introduction of oscar wilde oscar wilde was a prominent voice of the modern aesthetic movement of late late 19th century england well uh, it was a very unknown movement and uh, you should have a brief insight in uh, the domain of aesthetic movement due to the celebration of controversial elements in his literary writings he had to face a uh, criticism from his society from his contemporary literary circles uh, uh, circles as well due to the celebration of controversial elements like indecency and homosexuality and excessive celebration of beauty uh, particularly physical beauty in his works he had to end up in in imprisonment because he was charged with the allegations of uh, uh spreading indecency through uh, his literature but that too was a side of uh victorian uh norms and uh, the typical victorian mindset and he is also known and also famous for uh highlighting the true pictures of victorian society and uh, most of his plays uh, depict the irony of victorian society as well So Oscar Wilde uh, he is also known as the victim of Victorian hypocrisy. 
he is recognized as the ardent follower of art for art's sake because he advocated art for art's sake the notions of art for art's sake through his works as masterpiece dramas are the importance of being earnest and lady wendermeres fan most probably uh, lady wendermeres fan is uh, the masterpiece of uh, wild but uh, in the academia across the world normally uh, the first one the importance of being earnest is taught well oscar wilde's family was an educated family and his father was a doctor uh, particularly ear and heart ear and eye specialist and he published many books on folklore and archaeology due to his interest in the fields his mother was also a literary figure she was a poet oscar wilde was a classical scholar and was highly inspired of the teachings of john ruskin and walter pater he was deeply impressed of their penetrations on the association of art and life during 1880s while uh, one recognition as an aesthetic scholar within the literary circles of london on the basis of his aestheticism and wit because he used both of these elements a combination of both of these elements in his writings in a very in a in a very harmonious way he wrote with flamboyance means he uses flowery language and sublime expressions his honest services to art and aesthetics inspired many other poets like algernon dante gabriel rossetti and swinburne uh, they are uh, basically victorian poets he also wrote for dramatic allegory and fairy tales in the form of his short stories the happy prince and other tales and these were published in 1888 Almost all of his major works were published during the last decades of his life. His only novel, uh, The Picture of Dorian Gray, that was published in 1890, was also published in the same period of his life and he had got uh, got a, a a great recognition and he had won a great reputation as an aesthetic uh, from this very novel the picture of dorian gray because each and every word of this very novel although uh, he was charged of indecency and all these things from the critical circles of his time but uh, despite the fact of uh, indecency and criticism dorian just destroys his life throughout the novel and this is the main theme of this novel but each and every word and each and every expression of this very novel is so full of the aesthetic beauty that's why i want to discuss uh, this novel and uh, its background with you and uh, inshallah we will discuss this in the later videos in the upcoming videos oscar wilde's fiction uh, contains a harmonious blend of gothic and supernatural elements so gothic and supernatural elements they are also the part of uh, the literary writings that normally celebrate uh, aestheticism dorian gray was criticized uh, by critics as sinful but wild portrayed his character dorian uh, particularly he portrayed his self destruction in this novel So somehow we can say that this very novel the picture of Dorian Gray it somehow reflects an autobiographical side as well well Wilde is also the creator of the new comedy of modern literature he got success from his play Lady Windermere's Lo- uh, lover sorry no no it's not lover Lady Ma- Windermere's fan uh he uses his use of wit added flavor into the normal and customary settings of the play wild also highlighted the social issues of his time and his plays but they served aesthetic purposes more than the 
social ones that's why he is famous for his stance of art for art's sake uh, the example of such plays are a woman of uh, no importance and an ideal husband well the next topic i'm going to discuss with you is the importance of king ernest and i think uh, we will discuss this in the next video uh, my first video is based on a thorough introduction of oscar wilde because oscar wilde is one of those representative modern uh, and later victorian names who have just uh, worked on uh, the aesthetic domains and they are famous for uh, after keats he is the one who is famous for his stance of art for art's sake in the modern time so uh, thank you so much for today uh, see you in the next video with the play uh, with the discussion on the play the importance of being earnest if you like my videos please don't forget to subscribe my channel and share my videos and my links with your friends thank you so much allah hafiz